Right then, it's quarter past one. I wanted to get to Holford by half past two. I'm beginning to worry if I'm going to be able to do it at all. It's taken me two hours since I got off the bus. Um, what time did you get off the bus? No, no, no. no quarter past eleven. Yeah, it was about quarter past eleven when I got off the bus. The bus was very late. I've never been out so late. We have said we're we'll aim for a later bus and get a later train so we can do Holford. Have you? Yeah. I mean, there is that way round. But I'm, what I'm thinking of doing is um, trying to join up with a ladies' edge up here somewhere. Yeah, see, I could have cut all that out. Just come straight up and over. Um, but I thought, no. Do a little bit something different. Because there's more to this place than the hills. There's no way I could have go done Smith's Coombe over there. Absolutely no way would that have fitted in. I've got a feeling this is the top, the backbone, rather than Lady's Edge, this bit. Which is alright. It's fine. Still takes us to the plantation. Once we see the plantation, we know we're on route. The other route would have taken me around like that, which is all right if I wanted to go down through uh, <sighs> of Oxen. <sighs> so this is it. Very dull at the moment, the bracken look. I think I can see those two people up there. They could be sheep, I'm not sure. <sighs> um, this hasn't come out yet. Right, it's not come out. Now we come back here in a, in July. This should be a purple haze of heather and yellow gorse, but not at the moment. No, because it's just turned. Don't forget, it's been cold. It, they ain't ready yet. So, um, oh, July, August, we should have, this should all be in flower here, should it? Yeah. No, what I've decided is, um, because it's light evenings, there's, there's a, later buses, the worst thing that can happen, as always, is if you miss a bus down there is 45 minute wait and they could all be late as well <laughs> so say you said to yourself um, say you said to yourself I'm gonna which way are we going Shell? I don't know. do you want to go across and pick up the path You'd get there 10 minutes before the bus, right? So you said that to yourself, right? Yeah. You say that to yourself and then... It's still late. It's the big, this is the big thing that I have. The big issue with me is the buses. It's very stressful, actually. Um, now, down there is Lady's Edge. We might be able to link up with it in a minute. Okay? Meanwhile, we'll go this way. But I think we'll try and get down there. Join Lady's Edge. This 
this one. If you stay on here, it takes you straight into Old Fox and Park. If you stay on this route, right over the top, and you're down into their wood. But since it's going on for half one, even if we thought we'd get back for the half five bus, that's only four hours. You've got to allow yourself two to three hours to walk back. So we can't leave it too late because I've got a feeling there aren't many trains. Um, you know, you could you could find yourself having to buy a sandwich and wait in ages. It could be a very long day. Like I say, it's very stressful. Um, the bus thing. I'm grateful that there is a bus and a train. But let's see if we can get on down there in a minute. See if there's a path. It don't matter if there ain't, because this one links up with it anyway. Well, like I said, when I had my van, I was totally relaxed walking. Totally relaxed, totally at peace. And enjoying the beauty rather than thinking, oh God, I haven't got time. Like, I'm th like I am now. It's, it's such a different thing, having your own vehicle. Over and over. Right, I'm back on. I was just saying what I could do with now that I, I'm not too keen on camping without an airbed at my age, and I've got no transport. So I've been down through there before. It's often deer down there. This is um, all leading up to Holford now. The coombs, various coombs, slaughterhouse coomb. Oh, yeah, all sorts. But I was just thinking, if there was um, somewhere quite close by, not totally cut off, I don't mean, and I'd need to be able to get to a shop, I could have a couple couple of weeks over this way, and I could just come out walking when I felt like it. As long as I could have the internet. <laughs> Someone else had say, my dear, look. Could be you from the past. No, it won't me. Yeah, I feel a bit more relaxed now. I'm on track. I did a quite a good diversion actually and cut out quite a bit because I'll be doing a bit smaller posts later in the walk when I'm walking up through there. That's the plan. At the moment I'm heading down. I'll be going down past the plantation trees to Holford to hopefully sit on a bench and have a bit more of my picnic and then making my way back. Once again, it'll be a short stop. Quite often I do this way, the opposite way. I've been to Holford and I come up this way. But today I'm doing this, this route. I'm going to be late getting home tonight, and I don't mind really, because it is, a, well it's not summer yet, but as long as it doesn't thunder and lightning, like it said it might, I'm fine. Now in a minute we'll get around this corner, and we'll be able to see the plantation trees. Yeah, I've got plenty of fluids, I've got, um, I drank some water at the first bottle of water. I drank some wa water. I drank a whole bottle of fruit juice to give me a glucose boost. And I've had um, Aero chocolate bar to give me a little bit of energy as well. I've got cheese. I've got the tomato, so not to worry. I've got cheese at those round cheeses, soft cheeses. I bought two of those. I'm, I'm half eating some cheeselets as well. They're in my pocket. Oh, it looks like a sheep's had a bit of a shear up here. There are various ways down up to the bigger route up there, main pathway up there, 
or down, you can go down into Hodder's Coombe, down there, if you go down there. But we'll be going back up. Like I said, as far as I'm concerned, I'm about two hours out, out. To be kicking off my walk out here at quarter past 11 is, is ridiculous. What I've done to compensate that before, now I've come on a Saturday where I can still use my passes, Jeep, on the train and the, and the, the bus. I've had to do it on a Saturday usually. Um, so, I am under a bit of pressure, time-wise. Because I normally like to get the bus about four o'clock in order to get a five o'clock bus, but that is in the winter. So, when I'm on the station, if I've got to wait an hour and a half, if as long as the little cafe's open, I can get a coffee or a tea and a sandwich. And that'll be fine. There's no panic to get back. There's no panic. I can always catch up on everything. Anyway, while we're going along... I went for a small walk yesterday. Just in local near Uphill, where I go for some little walks. When I came back, Zara came over for tea, afternoon tea. Sandwiches, fruit and... I don't know if it was a cake or not, I can't remember. Anyway... I said, because she doesn't watch telly, I said, do you want the news? Should we put the news on? Because we were watching a bit of a kid's film for a bit. I hadn't listened to the news at all that day. And we were sat there, and then it was announced that the president, I think it's the president, or prime minister, as a leader anyway, of Iran and his foreign minister had gone missing in a helicopter after leaving Azerbaijan. I can't pronounce it. They'd been over there for the day looking at a dam. There were three helicopters all together. The weather was very bad. Mist, thick mist, and apparently freezing conditions in the mountains. Well, all afternoon and evening there was no... They were still looking for the, the, the helicopter with these leaders in it. I don't know about the two other helicopters. There were three in a convoy. Anyway, this morning when I woke up, I put the half past five news on for the weather and, and it announced they'd been killed and the helicopter caught fire and um, it was hard to identify anybody. So, that's a, quite a big thing um, happened in Iran because there's a lot of wars going on at the moment with Gaza and Israel. Which way do you go? I don't know. Go that way. There's a lot of wars going on. And um, Iran's been hosting some of the, what some people call the terrorists, like um, Hamas and, and, and other ones. So it's, it could have been a pure accident, the helicopter crashed. It was bad conditions. And everyone's surprised that they even let them on the helicopter in those conditions. And both of them together, not on separate helicopters. Apparently, they didn't split the leaders up. So obviously you're going to get your conspiracy theory now. Was it Israel that brought them down? 
was it internal there's a lot of internal conflict their main man oh, I can't remember his name now but it's a very old main man the big chief if you like he came on telly but he's very ill and apparently they don't really he's going to last very long naturally so there is like these leadership things going on so it could have been a pure accident but of course in the day and age we live in everyone says no that was bloody either the Americans or Israelis done that or their own people you know what I mean so uh, we won't really know right away and the, the helicopters were burnt out as well or somebody behind uh, behind me and above is there yeah somebody behind me and above what's that out there right so there we go here we got the there's um, Do Dobra Hill Fort over there, which I haven't done for a while. You've got Holford Coombe going up there. Hodder's Coombe, it branches off into another Coombe going that way. And then, then it goes to Slaughterhouse Coombe. Then you've got other Coombes branching off all the way along. Over and out for a minute.